This is Rochelle with Live in Vibrancy, and today I'm going to explore resistance. Um, I'm going to explore how it presents itself, why it blocks you from creating what it is that you want, um, why it persists, and hopefully from there, um, give you some key understanding that will help you move through uh, any of your own resistance. Um, so one of the first things to understand is that you are creating in every moment. So the, the best way to think about it when we are thinking about that we're creating in every moment is that you don't create what you want, you create what you are or who you are. Um, and this has to do with your beliefs, your state, all of, all of the things. And so uh, it's important to recognize as well that everything is happening now. Time is an illusion. And so um, time actually is a great point of resistance. <laughs> you can't touch the past and you can't touch the future. You can only touch and experience the now. Um, you can physiologically and emotionally experience the past and the, the past and the future. But um, in terms of like tangible experiences, the things we wanna manifest, uh, they can only happen now. And so it's really um, uh, key to recognize um, that you wanna let go of, of uh, your, the time, the time aspects that many of us can hang on to because time in itself creates quite a lot of resistance. Um, some of this is because it really messes with belief. So if I were to, an example of this is, if I were to set an intention, I am going to make a million dollars. So I write my intention down two ways and you'll be able to tell, you'll drop in and feel which one has the resistance. And because this, well, let's, let's do it and then we can unpack why. So every day I am working towards making a million dollars. Okay, so that's intention number one. Every day I am working towards making a million dollars by June 30th. Now that's going to hit you, um, those two are gonna hit you differently. One of them is gonna have resistance around them. It could bring up fear, it could bring up um, belief blocks, it can bring up all sorts of limited beliefs about what you would have to do in order to make that money in that period of time. Um, but if you leave it more open, like every day I'm working towards, um, and you focus on that end, the million, not when, then you are going to have a lot less resistance around the process. So while yes, you absolutely can manifest on a timeline, yes, it will also bring a lot more resistance. And so this is important to understand, particularly if you are, again, manifesting on a timeline, or you have some sort of um, pressure, time pressure that you're working against. If I don't have this done by, or I am running out of time because these are points of resistance. And so um, it's, these can be massive barriers to what it is that you want because you think you're focused on the outcome, but you have this massive point of resistance operating in the background. So if this is you, um, maybe unpack that. So it's worthwhile to understand that the minute you set an intention, any resistance you have to it is going to come up. So beliefs that are in conflict are gonna pop up. Um, protection patterns are gonna pop up because we move away from pain and towards pleasure. And so if your intention has any associated pain towards it, you are unconsciously gonna protect yourself. You are unconsciously gonna block yourself from having it. Um, ineffective strategies that you learned in childhood to get what you want, that's a major point of resistance as well. So when you're focused on like pushing against the problem, you're not focused on the solution, you're focused on the problem. You're really focused on what it is that you don't want. And when you're focused on the fact that it hasn't manifested into your physical reality, you're focused on the problem. You're not focused on the solution. 
So these are really important points of resistance that um, I want you to notice when they come up um, because these are, these are the primary points of resistance that I see and admittedly also experience. Um, and so the key is that you're always going to have um, resistance, but noticing it and then being able to move through it is the key. And so when you're focused on the problem or you're focused on what you don't have, it's important to also recognize that, you know, cliche, what you focus on grows because what you're focused on, it tells your mind what's important and your reticular activating system will filter more of that out of your current environment. So you're going to see more of what you don't want and more of what you don't want and more of what you're resisting um, because that's where your energy is and like that's where energy stays and so it operates like as a feedback loop. When it's a protection pattern that's coming up to keep you safe, um, it's coming up to keep you safe from unconscious fears. Um, and so these, as I mentioned, um, we move towards pleasure and away from pain. And so if you have unconscious fears, you are going to be doing things that are out of your awareness that will keep you away from the thing that you fear. Uh, so the key being, again, that they're not conscious to you. So you stay stuck and you don't understand why. And you might be doing all the techniques and all the things, but you are internally pushing against your resistance. And so the more you push against a protection pattern, so basically resisting your resistance, instead of meeting what's causing it and moving through it, um, the more you push against it, the stronger that resistance gets. When it's an ineffective strategy from childhood, um, it's important to recognize um, that what got you here won't get you there. So, um, Manifesting, it's about being in a state of being, right? It's about being in a state. Because sensation precedes manifestation. So a state is more than just a feeling. It's a feeling, it's a physiology, it's natural thoughts, it's not forcing thoughts. So if you're pushing against something and you're resisting it, you are in a state that's in alignment with what you don't want rather than what you do want. And so what you don't want will persist because you are creating it and you are creating more of it and you are creating more of it. And I don't mean to say this in a way that's so glib as in like, just flip your state. Because if you have watched any content <laughs> I fully that I have put out, I fully acknowledge that it that stuck, stuck energy I was talking about, um, then when we pattern into that or we have experiences, that cause literally our body to pattern in ways of being, then the work is more than just like flip into a state. <laughs> but in order to manifest something, you need to be in the state of what you want, not in the state of what you don't want. And so another really powerful way to understand um, that uh, what you resist persists, and this one I think personally has been, uh, this is the most powerful. It's to recognize that life is a mirror. Yes, we do affect others on um, like a physiological level and we uh, affect them on an energetic level. Um, and this is entirely based on who we are being. Um, everyone is you pushed out. It's a really layered concept. Um, and it ties beautifully into helping you really understand why anything you resist will persist and it's because people are only messengers telling you who you are They're a reflection of your inner world. So uh, the Pygmalion effect, it's a well-researched concept that tells us however you think about someone and how you feel about someone affects how they 
see themselves and this affects how they show up in your life. So now what you think and feel is essentially being fed back to you. So if you are resisting what they think and feel, what, or if you are resisting the situation, what you think and feel about them is most likely negative. <laughs> and so they are then seeing themselves through that lens and then feeding it back to you. So essentially, like I said, you're reinforcing your internal self. Reality, it's a feedback loop. So if you wanna create something new, you have to, this is why it is literally about mastering yourself. You have to recognize all the ways that your filters on reality are not fostering what it is that you wanna create. Um, when you resist a situation, then you put the power in the circumstances and you miss the fact that um, the power is actually in you and you also miss back what's being reflected back to you. Because when you can see what's being reflected back to you and choose something that's in alignment with what you want, you're going to create from a far more powerful place. Your conscious awareness, it's only aware of 5% of your entire consciousness experience. Your true self concept, your inner identity, um, it's often unconscious to you, but life will reflect it back. Um, the seven is see in mirrors, which are some of the earliest videos that I made on here. They can be really powerful tools to help you decipher that reflection. And so um, that will allow you to create through your blocks. And this happens from the inside out because energy is fundamental and sensation precedes manifestation. So if your energy and your sensations um, focus on pushing against whatever circumstance you're hating, resisting, um, or trying to change, uh, it's important to recognize the state that you're in when you're doing that. So as you see what life is reflecting back to you, you can do that deeper inner work to change your energy, to change your perceptions, and to change your focus and allow life to really bring those synchronicities to you, to take you to your end result. You conform your identity to the identity of the person, the version of you that has that desire and reality reflects that back. So hopefully that gives you um, an understanding of why what you resist persists and how um, being in resistance to your current circumstances may actually be keeping it going rather than allowing you to move to where it is you want to go because a quantum jump happens when you are in the energy of something of it already happening not waiting to see it outside of you because that essentially creates that that feedback loop that we don't want and so if you found this video helpful please share like and subscribe and hit the bell to notify you when i put out another video and until next time live like you can't fail